So what's up? I was talking to Adam and he like really caught me off guard and I was just like panicking. Well, I think being in a train with Brittany really gave him some perspective. Yeah. He's attracted to you and I know you're attracted to him. And obviously I can see you and Adam being a match because he needs someone like you. We can sever this, we can still be friends and we can have these little meetings where you can tell me where you think which girl is you know most compatible with me and you can obviously you know me well so you can figure out what i need and you know now that we're done with this then explore adam and find out if you guys are a match ethan is just surprisingly okay with the entire situation he goes i get it and we did what we did it's done time to move on obviously and you guys have feelings for each other you need to explore those don't worry about me i'll be all right what about me? I know what well, the f on. I know, I know. I'm trying to I'm trying to play it cool, but I know you I know we had a thing going and if this were an alternate reality then we would you would be the typical girl that I would want to date. I know cuz I could bring you home to mom. I know you like to get down and dirty. I know you like to get done up, you know. I have certain qualities in my women that I like to date and they're definitely me. But in this house it's just in this house, we're, we're too good to be true. This is way harder than I thought it would be. I expected him to fight for me a little bit more or have this bother him a little bit more. It hurts. Just the way that Ethan was so cool about it, it's starting to make me feel like, okay, maybe he really isn't my perfect match. <laughs> you're my you're a man. Hey, so what I'm here for. Ethan, like, if I was to talk to Ethan, I'd be like, bruh, yes. you ain't all the way where you need to be, no, bruh. You need a grown ass, mature ass man and it's like, I feel like it's f***ed up because it's like, honestly, I don't, I'm gonna speak for myself. And I'm sure Wes would attest, and maybe Scully attest. Amber, you're somebody that we wouldn't mind talking to. One of the few girls we all wouldn't mind really getting to know.